What's going on everybody? This is Jeff with Altcoin Buzz. So today we're going to talk about decentralization and governance, right? So is it even possible to have decentralization in cryptocurrency in the blockchain? I mean, is this, or is this just a, you know, a wish that everyone has where there's no government or anything like that really involved? And we're going to kind of tackle that and dive right in here. So I've posted this question many times on Twitter. I posted this on groups, mostly on Twitter. <laughs> and you guys said that you don't think society overall is ready to be decentralized because people will be taken advantage of, of the scammers. There are going to be scammers that exist and these bad actors. Who's going to keep them out of the equation? Because it's like, if it's, it's kind of like if you don't protect your chickens from the coyotes, the coyotes will get your chickens at some point. And so you have to build the chicken coop to keep the chickens protected, right? And that's kind of the way the government functions is it protects investors and that, that's how the SEC functions. So the, the, the main argument here has always been, well, how do we get the centralization of a certain core of people out of the mix? Well, one of the solutions is uh, uh, smart contracts and, you know, we've seen that in multiple different discussions, but let's talk about this here in, in uh, more specific detail. So here I am on Oxford Academics. So this is a review of finance. Blockchains represent a novel application of crypto cryptography and information technology to age old problems of financial record keeping. And they, ha they may, may lead to far reaching changes in corporate governance. Many major players in the financial industry have began to invest in this technology and stock exchanges have proposed using blockchains as a new method for trading corporate entities, equities, and tracking their ownership. This essay evaluates the potential implications. So this is an abstract that you can get discussing this topic more in detail. It's a uh, obviously a peer reviewed uh, journal entry it appears actually, I don't know if it's necessarily obvious, but um, so Oxford Academic Review of Finance, Corporate governments, Governance and Blockchains. Now, let's talk about this in the cryptocurrency world. So where do we see decentralized cryptocurrency, but having a core, right? Bitcoin core. So Bitcoin is a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer, uh, economy, but there has to be someone behind it improving and upgrading the infrastructure in the, in the, in that, um, behind that. And that's the Bitcoin core. And so if you're familiar with the New York Agreement, uh, let's kind of review that. Um, so the activation of seg segregated witness, SegWit, at an 80% threshold signaling at bit four. Activate a two megabyte hard fork within six months. So someone behind the scenes has to make these decisions and who is that? That's Bitcoin Core. And that came about from the New York Agreement. If you don't know much about that, uh, we can. if you want, we can make a video talking about the New York Agreement. But Moving forward in this discussion, you can see how um, Bitcoin Core, that centralized component of people that makes these decisions. And, and, you know, that's the talk about network fees and all that. And that's where Roger Veer and Bitcoin Core kind of go back and forth on that discussion. Charlie Lee said he sold all his Litecoin to make Lite, uh, Litecoin more decentralized. So there's there is this discussion now. Without smarter uh, governance, blockchains will f uh, fall to victim to more attacks. So you have, this is where cryptocurrencies like uh, Quant, Stamp, and Blue, providing that security element, kind of keep people safe and keep the community overall functioning healthy, right? So Ethereum, a network design to extend blockchain technology to use beyond cryptocurrencies has been gaining traction around the world. We already know about that, right? Build as a decentralized platform that runs smart contracts without any possibility of downtime, censorship, fraud, or third-party interference. Ethereum has been enthusiastically embraced by organizations like Microsoft, IBM, and Azure. So essentially the way a uh, smart contract functions is inside of that, that code is written into it commands that execute based on when that has happened. Uh, for example, if, uh, I mean, you, it's, you can go in all sorts of different arenas to explore how smart contracts could be used in legal and government, in corporate, in, uh, inside your own organization that might do build, create shoes, right? But um, essentially it's a command that's written into the code to execute on its own. That's artificial intelligence, right? Now, what happens if that robot makes an incorrect error, uh, uh, 
statement, I don't know, in legal and law. Is there a way for human consciousness to override that? And who would be that human consciousness or who would be that human that would override that, right? Typically in this case right now, it's still a judge. So will there always need to be that human consciousness element or can smart contracts and artificial intelligence evolve to the point where that is no longer even needed where humans don't make the decisions? And, and then that takes us all to a whole nother point is, have we just created an, an alien art, uh, intelligence that will essentially uh, make the human, na human, human race and all of the biology and or organic material that we are, right? obsolete i mean think about it if you if artificial intelligence got so smart that human consciousness was no longer needed what would that mean for the human race and at what point could that artificial intelligence uh basically destroy humans the inferior right so these are all kind of things that we have to keep in mind when we really go into this uh not necessarily smart contracts but artificial intelligence so i open up the discussion to you guys can cryptocurrency really remain or really be decentralized or will there be a decentralized component more so than there is already today, but not fully decentralized? Or do you think we can fully achieve decentralization where there's no need for a ruling body of humans that are centralized, you know, a G20 or a council, right? You guys let me know in the comments, banking, legal, government, corporate, uh, personal family, you know, it could, however, smart contracts can be used. So this is Jeff with Allcoin Buzz, and we'll see you next time.